Today in our 2016 Mazda CX-9, we'll be installing the Curt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number C13284. All right, here's what our hitch looks like installed. As you can see, it's nice and tucked up underneath our back bumper here. You don't have to have any of the frame sticking down, just the Class 3 2-inch receiver itself hangs down with our easy-to-use safety chain loops here that are on the bottom of our receiver. This pitch has a nice collar welded around the back of it to give you a nice finished appearance and to help give you a high-end look on your vehicle. This hitch has a 600 pound max tongue weight rating and a 4,000 pound max gross trailer weight rating. If you were to step up to weight distribution, the tongue weight rating stays the same at 600 pounds, but the max gross trailer weight rating increases to 5,000 pounds. We have our standard 5 8 inch diameter hitch pin hole to secure any hitch mounted accessories we may have. This hitch features a nice high gloss black powder coat finish that'll give us many years of rust and corrosion free service. Now for a few measurements to better assist you in choosing any hitch mounted accessory you may need, such as the ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. You're looking about six inches from the center of the 5 8 inch diameter hitch pin hole to the rearmost point in the back bumper. And about 14 inches from the ground to the top of the Class 3 2 inch receiver opening. All right, here's what our hitch comes with. We have our hitch here. As you can see, it's a nice solid construction, no bolting together, no welding required. It goes, it's all one piece ready to bolt onto the vehicle. This hitch will install in existing holes already on the vehicle. No drilling or any welding required there either. We have our spacer plates here that are will go inside our frame rail or our carriage bolts will drop onto and then our hitch will be secured on with these nuts right here. To get all this hardware in place we have four fish wires here to draw it all inside the frame. Now that we've gone over what's all included we'll show you how to install it. All right the first thing we're going to have to do and install our hitch is lower down our exhaust but in order to do that we're going to have to support it Let's use a ratchet strap here, or a cam buckle strap. You can use a bungee cord, whatever you have will work. Just hook it on the control arms, and we'll draw the strap on up a little bit, and this will help support our weight. Now our muffler has four rubber exhaust hangers, one on both sides towards the back, and one on both sides towards the front. Let's frame down with some lubricant here, so it'll slide off a little bit easier for us. Now we use a pry bar, come in behind the hanger, work our hangers off the exhaust like that. So once you have this two off, we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, with all of our hangers off, we'll lower our exhaust just enough so we have room to slide our hitch in. Right there should be perfect. Now we'll take our fish wire here. We'll go through this access hole, the smaller one towards the front. We're on the passenger side of the vehicle right now for reference. And we'll push the wire in. Well, it comes out this large hole right in front of our back exhaust hanger. Okay, with that through, slide one of our plates onto the wire and we'll stick it inside the frame. And we'll thread the carriage bolt onto the pull wire. Pull it on down through. And we can remove our pull wire. Now we'll take our pull wire. We're gonna do a reverse pull wire technique now. Slide our plate on. Screw on our carriage bolt. We'll go back up to our large access hole. We'll insert the bolt into the hole, followed by our spacer plate. Then we'll pull the bolt on down through. We'll repeat the same process on the other side. All right, now before we can raise our hitch up, we need to remove this plastic trim panel right here. It just has four plastic push pin fasteners in it. So we'll use our trim panel tool here or a flathead screwdriver, and we'll work these fasteners on out. Now right here, on the outer edge on both sides, there's a tab. If you reach out from behind, press it on the tab, it'll pull down. Do the same on the other side. 
trim piece was supported by these two brackets here. Underneath, there's a 10 millimeter bolt. We need to remove that 10 millimeter bolt and this additional fastener right here in order to get the necessary room for a hitch to go in position. There's another one of those tabs right here on the side. This one, if you push in on it, it'll drop down like that. So here's the tab. This is the part you push in on. For reference, you can pull it down. We'll do the same for the other bracket. All right, now with an extra set of hands, we'll raise our hitch up over the exhaust and install it with our flange nut hardware. Now that we have our hitch in place, we'll tighten down all of our hardware. Okay, now we'll torque all of our hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. Okay, with our hitch all torqued down, we can raise our exhaust back up. The plastic piece that we took off, the trim panel, will not be reinstalled. four of our hangers are placed. We can remove our support strap. And that completes our installation of the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number C13284 on our 2016 Mazda CX-9. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.